welcome back. Now that we have the slider header logo uh, all set up, we can just jump into building the Fusion page layout with the Fusion Builder. You can also do that with Fusion Builder Live. If you uh, look back at my video for Fusion Builder Live, I just feel more comfortable doing it with Fusion Builder and that is what I'll focus on. Uh, so let's jump right into that. So to start that, we'll just click on edit page. So what we are looking to do is to maybe put a nice picture of a nice big picture and then three columns with your services and maybe a parallax section. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and start editing the page. All right, so here we'll just add a container. Quick pause. I hope you're enjoying my videos about professional web design using the Avada theme. Actually, these videos are a part of a very detailed video course that I created for Udemy. So if you would like to explore these topics in more detail and ask questions, check out my course on Udemy. The link with the discount coupon is in the description of the video. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do that because a lot more content is coming your way. Let's get back to the video. And in the container, we'll have one column and that's where we want to put an image. So we'll just put an image and maybe we will just say zoom in or zoom out is fine as well. So we'll just upload a picture, a nice uh, 1600 by 1066 uh, image. Uh, okay. and. Uh, before that, we might as well put some text like an introduction. So we will just use a text block for that. Just like we had for Damon Vaughn when we were working with sample content. So here I have some dummy uh, content that I generated. So we'll just go with the first one here and we'll just paste that in and just say save. And one thing we want to make sure is that it's center aligned, align center, save, and then uh, it should be at the top. And then we should add an element for the title as well. And we'll just say, whatever and just save it and okay we might as well get rid of the style like the uh, separator style so design and we'll just make it an h2 center and where it says separator we will just go ahead and do none save Okay, so uh, it'll display like I'm a WordPress enthusiast, uh, some text and a nice uh, big picture. And then we want to add uh, three columns. So we will do a one by third, one by third uh, display. We just like we did before, we'll just remove the two columns and we will go with the, uh, the first column. And what we want to do here is a display image, which will be like a image for one of the columns so here we can just go with uh, this musical events uh, 1000 by 700 image and just say save and then we can have a title element and here we'll say musical events and just say say yes and oh, by default, I want to get rid of these separators, which I always forget. So we'll just go ahead and select none for that one as well. Okay, and we want to make sure that the uh, it is center line in H2. Okay, so now that is done. For the image, we want to put some, um, some type of uh, effect onto that. And then we want to put some text so for the text, we'll just use a text block like that. And then we can just copy and paste uh, maybe uh, three or four lines of text. So we'll go till here. Remember, we're working with a one third column, so it's not gonna be a lot. 
all right and then we'll have a read more button so we'll just select a button and it will go to a empty button text will be read more and if we go to the design it will be a custom button and the hover colors will be I copied this right here which is our theme primary color so I will just change the colors to that top bottom and we'll also change the hover colors so when you hover over it we'll just change the transparency a little bit so we'll just grab that and we will put that button right here okay so save so that is pretty much it for the first column we want to make sure the button is also center aligned like we missed that so okay so now we have a single column which is pretty well laid out so we'll duplicate this two more times and then we can change the events so we'll just uh, remove this and upload a new image now all the three columns uh, the images that i'm using are sized correctly so they are all the same 1050 by 700 uh, it could be less or more but whatever you guys are using make sure that uh, it's the same thing so we'll just swap the image and here we'll just say uh, so these are actually blurbs that link to uh, pages inside of our website and okay musical events uh, the third one let's swap that as well and I have a sporting image so insert into page and save and we'll just say you get the idea of what I'm trying to do with this so we have three columns now uh, to work with and we will just update and see how the page looks like so we'll open the page and underneath the slider uh, you see the section where it says I am WordPress enthusiast uh, you can just a few lines of text with a nice full width image you can see the effect that it has so you can hover over it and it zooms out then there are musical events uh, we would like to have some more spacing there I guess uh, 20 pixels more would be nice and then we can maybe add another parallax section or something like that and that will make it look really outstanding so what we can do is maybe just simply add a separator here you can also add uh, margins under the container you can add margin above the container you can add margins below this column there is so much stuff that you can do but the most simplistic one is a separator so here is the separator and the style i'll say no style just save it and define how much space there is so in the design section we'll just say 20 pixels or 30 pixels not 230 that'll be a lot of space uh, 30 pixels is fine and we'll just go ahead and do that After that, maybe we should display some blog post or recent blog post that we might have. Uh, so we, uh, so I'll show you guys how you can do that. So we'll just refresh this page, and you'll notice that the space slightly increases a little bit, so it gives a nice uh, look and feel to the page. So that's all good. Now, what you want to do is to maybe display some recent blog post. So currently, we don't have any blog posts. In the next video. Uh, I'll show you how to create a blog post and then uh, we will add them to the home page as well. So thanks so much for watching. I hope this was interesting for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time.